Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my alternative of Microsoft Paint. It's called Paintbrush and you can download this for free. This is open source software. Here's the link. On the website you simply need to head to downloads and there you can pick the version of the software you need. The 2.6 is the newest one. So you can hit that and download the software. As I mentioned, it's free, it's open source currently. All right, and here we are inside Paintbrush. As you can see, it's very similar to Microsoft Paint. We got similar tools like this brush tool. We can modify color of the brush. We got several color pickers over here in this new window. We can use the spectrum, just change the light brightness up and now we can modify the color of the brush we can also modify the size of the brush over here using this scale all right next tool is a classic rubber tool it works very similar to brush tool instead of making new line it will erase the existing one you can also use this tool it's called bomb tool it will erase everything on the screen so be careful here's selection tool Next, there is also spray tool, same as in Microsoft Paint. We can modify the size of the spray tool as well. Here it is, small one, little one. All right, bucket tool will fill the whole screen, all the shape with the color. Now it's perfect time to use bomb tool again. Here it is, bomb will remove everything. Line tool, curvy line tool. You can click second time to make a curve like this. All right, now we move to shape tool and shape tool got three modes, just stroke, just fill or both, stroke and fill. So you can set the background color and the background color will be your fill color like this. All right, exactly same for oval and also round corners, rectangle tool. We got text tool, you can type text you can also modify the font on the right side in separate window you can change font family first then depict the font itself and the size of the font click ok and you can click one time to place the text you cannot modify the text so if you click on the text again with text tool and let's say you want to change it instead of editing you will be placing a new text all right just keep it in mind Next is color picker. In case you want to reuse the color you used previously in your project, you can pick any color from the artboard and there is zoom tool. Sometimes you want to zoom in to see some details. So left click, zoom in, right click, zoom out. All right. Here's the bomb tool. And as you can see, unexpected result. I fill the screen with red because red is set up as my background color. So I will set up white as my background color and use the bomb tool again click on the screen and here it is blank screen let's create a simple image here i will fill the screen with blue using bucket tool next i'm going to use oval tool just fill color and i change my color to green let me zoom out a little bit i'm going to use zoom tool and right click all right Back to oval tool. Let's create some kind of foreground with heels, grass like this. All right. Switch back to zoom tool. Click one time to zoom in. Here it is. Now I'm ready to put next shape. I modify the color before I draw the shape, not after. All right. You must change the color before you use the shape tool like this. So the new shape will be yellow. few more rectangles maybe some kind of window here all right line tool with a little bit darker color let's create a frame if you hold the shift on your keyboard you will create a perfect straight line direction every 45 degrees all right so if you need perfect straight line please hold shift on your keyboard Click one time and then click the second time to finish the line. One and two. All right, not bad. 
let's modify the color to red and draw a, some kind of roof maybe all right one click second and then one more line over here now i'm able to fill this space with bucket tool just like that very fast all right maybe some extra stuff now maybe i will pick green dark green color and spray so i will add some kind of texture to my grass in front of the house spray tool over here here and there you must click and drag your mouse now oval tool again with white color we can create some kind of cloud by combining several shapes together like this they can overlap and on this side maybe all right rectangle tool let's make a tree on this side of the house back to oval tool and again overlapping shapes to give it more organic look nice so here it is it is called paintbrush it's free software you can download this directly from the website that i link at the beginning of the video and use it for free don't forget to save your project so file save as and now you can rename your project and change the format you can save both jpegs and png files all right i hope it was helpful don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials see you in the next one